Welcome to part 3. I'm Christo with 9 to 3 Animation and in this scene we've got Dylan Sisson's walking teapot with our own materials. We continue where we left off in part 2 and this time I'll show you how to change the line thickness and line color. Let's first rename our display filters. I like naming them with their respective line type setting. So this one will be sections and this one curvature. With both selected, if I now drag the line thickness slider, we'll see the changes take place in our IPR session. Same goes for the color. Note that these are constant values set over the entire frame for all lines. So in part 4, we'll see how to vary these per material. I'll see you there. 